Howdy folks, welcome back to the workshop and you know what that means. That means we're gonna build something today. And uh, this video, it just came about pretty impromptu. Let's, you know, let's see what happens. So I saw this board laying here. I was cleaning up the, the workshop here and this board laying around. And as you can see, there's nothing special about this board. It's ugly. It's got some overspray on it from probably a previous project or something. It's still got the price tag here on the back. Nothing pretty about this board at all. And I thought to myself, that board would be perfect to make an old school diddly bow out of. And then I was like, wait a minute, why don't I? This is an old humbucking pickup. Uh, this actually came with the um, Muslati guitar kit that I did a while back and I've never used this pickup, so I'm gonna use this. This here, this is a Strat plate and jack. Um, you can see the jack is in there. And I've had this sitting around forever, just waiting to use it. Gonna use that. This is a single bass tuner. I've got a handful of these just f you know, flopping around in the parts box over there, so I'm gonna use that. This is just a piece of three quarter inch square dowel. I'm gonna use this for feet on here. This is a hook like you would use to hang a plant from your ceiling. Nothing special about that. Gonna use that for a tailpiece. And finally, this is a bass string. This one actually, I don't think this one's ever been used. I think it's brand new, but this is, it'd be the G string off of a bass, which is a 045, which is gonna be about the same as like the E string on a guitar. Most guitar packs are like a 046. So right around there. So basically like an E string on a guitar. Let's make a diddly bow. Why not? Okay, folks, that might be the quickest and the ugliest diddly bow uh, I've ever made. Let's take a quick look here. Up here at the head, we've got these two feet on the bottom so that you can set it on a flat surface. We've got that tuner coming through on the other side. You can see the string just goes to the tuner. So the tuner is actually acting as the nut, if you will. I mean, it's actually what's ending the string, right? Then we got that string going straight down. Down here, we see that little uh, uh, plant hook there, that's what's acting as my tailpiece and really my bridge. I mean, the string is just basically vibrating the whole string. Um, and then back here, I've got some more feet. Uh, I screwed that little humbucker pickup straight into the board there, ran the wire through on the bottom, comes back, and then we've got this upside down strat jack plate there. And uh, that's about it. But uh, that was fun to build. What'd that take, 10 minutes, something like that? I mean, that's a quick and dirty, you know, instrument you can make with just crap you got laying around. Let's go plug it in. Okay, folks, so here we are in the studio with the new diddly bow. I have plugged it in over there. And if I pluck the string, 
Hopefully you can hear that. I've got some some sound coming out. Now you could obviously, you know, be fancy with this, but the fun way to play these is just get nasty. Get like a screwdriver to use as, as like a pick, and then you can use a guitar slide or a bottle or anything and use that to make your frets over here. And, and that's what's fun about these. So, um, but real quick, let me show you, show you guys a cheater when you make a diddly bow like this, right? Okay, check this out. Grab yourself a marker, okay? Pluck the string. Look at about, you know, look at the length of the string here. Find about the middle and then pluck it until you find the harmonic. So see, nothing there. There's our harmonic. That's your center point of the string. So we'll make a mark there. That's your octave. So now check that out. Okay, but we're not done yet. There's two other harmonics on the string that we're gonna mark. So if we do that again and we go about a quarter, so there's half, so if we go about a quarter, we hear that one right there, so let's mark that one too. And then if we go, what about a third? There's one right there. And one right there. So now this is your fifth, seventh, ninth, and twelfth fret. You've already got those figured out. Now you just gotta figure out the other ones and you've got a full fretboard. So that's a little cheater you can do. Diddly bow, it's crazy, it's cheap, it's easy, it sounds pretty wicked. Why not?